On August 4, 1943, the skies over Romania became the stage for one of World War II's most daring and perilous air raids. Operation Tidal Wave, a high-risk mission aimed at crippling Germany's vital oil supplies, set off with 177 B-24 bombers from an Allied base in Libya heading toward the oil-rich city of Ploiesti, Romania, known as Hitler's gas station. The goal of Operation Tidal Wave was to strike a devastating blow to the Axis powers by targeting Ploiesti's oil fields and refineries, which supplied over 8.5 million tons of oil annually to the Germans. This mission was crucial, as cutting off this supply could significantly weaken the enemy's war machine. The operation began with ominous signs. An overloaded bomber crashed shortly after takeoff, and another plunged into the Adriatic Sea. Of the 177 bombers, 167 made it to Ploiesti, only to face a daunting challenge. Instead of flying high, as was typical, these bombers flew dangerously low to evade German radar. However, their low-altitude approach had a downside. The element of surprise was lost when one group of bombers veered off course, forcing others to break radio silence to redirect them. This error led the bombers to approach Ploiesti from the south, where the Germans had concentrated their anti-aircraft defenses. The ensuing attack was a dramatic and chaotic affair. The Allies faced heavy casualties as anti-aircraft fire and thick smoke from the initial explosions hampered visibility. Debris, including branches and barbed wire, struck the bombers, causing severe damage. Despite these challenges, bravery shone through in the face of adversity. Litten Collard Addison Baker and Majin John Gerstad were awarded the Medal of Honor for their courageous attempt to fly higher and allow their crew to bail out from their severely damaged plane. Little Lloyd Herbert Hughes also received a posthumous Medal of Honor for his determination to crash his critically damaged B-24 into the target, calling to John Kane and Cole Leon Johnson, who led bombing groups that successfully reached their targets, were the only two men awarded the Medal of Honor who survived the raid. Their leadership and valor under fire exemplified the bravery of the entire mission. Despite the Allies' efforts, the raid did not achieve its intended knockout blow. Although it was estimated that Ploiesti's oil production capacity was reduced by 40%, the damage was quickly repaired and the refineries soon surpassed their previous output. The region continued to fuel the German war effort until the Soviet Union captured it in August 1944. The cost of Operation Tidal Wave was staggering. 310 airmen lost their lives, 108 were captured, and 78 were interned in Turkey. Of the original 177 B-24s, only 88 returned, many severely damaged. Operation Tidal Wave set the record for the most medals of honor awarded to airmen in a single mission. However, the heavy losses and limited strategic success meant that such a daring, low-altitude assault was never repeated. The courage displayed during this raid remains a testament to the bravery and sacrifice of those who took part. As we remember Operation Tidal Wave, we honor the legacy of these brave airmen who faced overwhelming odds in their quest to strike a decisive blow against the Axis powers.